वेलकम टू एक्सट्रीम तेलुगु चैनल इवाल मनु डिस्कस जिस ना टॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स द न्यूट्रिशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम दिस डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट पार्ट्स एंड अंडरगो डिफरेंट फंक्शंस द आर इन्वॉल्व इन डिफरेंट डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स एंड डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस The digestive system of human beings involve different juices and enzymes, which involve different functions. So, this digestive system consists of a very long tube. This very long tube called alimentary canal. This alimentary canal is made very long tube, started with mouth. and ends with anus the digestive system consists of a very long tube called alimentary canal this alimentary canal started with mouth and ended with anus so how the food is entered into through the mouth and how the digestive system works out we'll see in detail so the food which we eat taken by our mouth was cut and crushed by our teeth the food we intake through the mouth is cut and crushed by our teeth and mixed with saliva so the saliva which is present in our mouth is mixed with the crushed food which is in the, taken through the mouth and made wet and slippery the food we take is modified into wet and slippery by using saliva this saliva is produced in the mouth by salivary glands so saliva is produced from salivary glands this salivary glands is located here this, this is salivary glands which is produced saliva in the mouth this saliva helps to make wet in uh, food in the mouth so this saliva glands is of three pairs salivary glands is of three pairs the first pair is located either side of the jaw is called submandibular glands The first pair, which is located at the top of the jaw, is called submandibular glands, and the second pair is located below the tongue, is called submaxillary glands. The pair of glands which is located below the tongue is called submaxillary. The pair of glands which is present at the side of the jaw is called submandibular. So the third pair is parotid glands. which is located in either side of your ears so there are three pairs of salivary glands which is produced first pair is submandibular which is located at the jaw second is below the tongue called submaxillary and the third pair is called parotid glands which is located at the side of your ears so this pair of salivary glands will produce saliva in the mouth and made the food wet which is crushed and slippery the process of food which is making wet and slippery by teeth by I mean the food which we take inside the mouth is called mastication the process of food which we take to the mouth is cut and crushed by our teeth and mixed with saliva and made wet and slippery is called mastication the process of food which intake by our mouth through and cut it and crushed by our teeth and mixed with saliva and made it wet and slippery is called mastication it is a one mark question important so this mastication is a process was done in the mouth so after mixing with saliva the food slowly enters to the esophagus which is made slippery the food slowly enters into the part called esophagus 
this part so this part after the esophagus it slowly enters into the stomach like this it enters into stomach so the salivary glands is of three pairs these three pairs of salivary glands release the saliva and made the food wet and passes it through the esophagus so here in the mouth the food which is crushed is formed into complex to simple the food we intake is complex one so the food we intake is complex is conveyed into simple how by using enzyme by using enzymes the complex materials is conveyed to simple substance by using enzyme the main enzyme which is used in this is amylase amylase is an enzyme is also called tyrlene and this amylase enzyme is helpful for converting the complex substance to simple substance so what is digestion so digestion is the process of converting the complex substance into simple substance by using enzymes and absorbed to our body is called digestion so here we are cutting the food through the mouth and it is converting the complex to simple substance by using enzymes this enzymes is helpful and absorb the food through the body is called digestion so after the converting this complex substance into simple substance it is slowly moving through the esophagus and slowly moves to the with the help of peristatic movements enters into stomach so by the peristatic movements it enters into the stomach this stomach contain hcl and juices digestive juices and hcl contain in stomach so the food which entered here is modified by the hcl and juices and converted into semi solid solution it converted to semi solid in the stomach this is stomach so in the stomach by the hcl and juices it is converted to semi solid this food is con completely converted to semi solid by using the enzyme called pepsin what the and this enzyme function it is an enzyme it is used to convert the broken down the proteins conversion of proteins i mean complex substance to simple substance of proteins is done by pepsin in the stomach in the stomach releases the enzyme called pepsin this enzyme is helpful converting the proteins from complex to simple in the stomach so after completing the food into semi solid the proteins get absorbed in the body through the stomach it is absorbed get absorbed through the body so next how it is entered into the small intestine the food from the stomach is entered into the small intestine how by using peristatic movement so by peristatic movements like this so like this, the peristatic movements the food is entered into the stomach small intestine from the stomach it is entered into the small intestine so from starting we'll see the mouth taking the food the complex substance and entered in by mixed with salivary glands which is releases saliva and enters into the esophagus from the esophagus it slowly entered to the stomach and from the stomach it is converted in by the protein called pepsin I mean enzyme called pepsin it converts the proteins into simple substance and made the semi solid solution this semi solid ones by using the peristatic movements enters into the small intestine
so the after eating the food into the stomach it converted into semi solid solution and form soft slimy substance this soft slimy substance contains proteins and carbohydrates so the proteins and carbohydrates is present in soft slimy substance even though the pepsin is converting the proteins by uh, the proteins are converted by the pepsin there are some more proteins and carbohydrates present in stomach which is soft slimy substance this is called chyme after the stomach which is filled with the hcl juices hcl and juices converted into semi solid solution by converting the proteins with the help of pepsin remaining the part which is formed is soft slimy solute substance this substance contain proteins and substance the uh, is called chyme so later the stomach is completed the digestion here it is acidic in nature and slowly it enters into small and uh, intestine by pyloric splinter by pyloric splinters which is present in small intestine is entered to the pyloric splinter the uh, food is entered into the digested food entered into the small intestine this small intestine is longest in alimentary canal the longest part of the alimentary canal is small intestine so this small intestine is contain juices how it contain juices it contain juices by liver and pancreas see here see this is liver and this is pancreas so this liver will give bile juice this pancreas will give pancreatic juice so the juices are then produced from the liver and pancreas these are helpful in the small intestine to get food digested further so how the liver will produce bile juice this bile juice will convert fats this bile juice will digest the fats then what about pancreatic juice this pancreatic juice releases trypsin this pancreas will release trypsin this trypsin is broke down the proteins and lipase this broken down the fats so the pancreatic juice which is produced is convert it contain enzymes called trypsin and lipase the trypsin will convert the protein and lipase will convert the fats the proteins and fats get digested in the small intestine the carbohydrates is started get digested from the mouth itself so remaining which is left is also get digested in the small intestine so after getting digested in the small intestine it slowly enters into the large intestine this is the large intestine so this is a this part is large intestine after entering the stomach the stomach will release by the pyloric pinches it enters into the small intestine it is a long tube in the alimentary canal it gets the juices from liver and pancreas they are bile juice and pancreatic juice it will convert the fats it will convert the both proteins and fats the of carbohydrates further it get converted by mouth itself from the starting to ending so later the intestinal juice is called suck q centricus 
the juice which is produced in small intestine is called succinctricus the intestinal juice the last of bit questions what is the intestinal juice produced in the small intestine is called succinctricus this helps in converting the proteins fats and carbohydrates in the small intestine and it get absorbed with the help of microvilli so microvilli what is microvilli microvilli is present in the small intestine this microvilli get absorb the proteins fats and carbohydrates which get digested by the enzymes called trypsin lipase bile bile juice and pepsin so this microvilli all absorb the carbohydrates proteins and fats in the small intestine remaining which is present it slowly enters to the large intestine in this large intestine the remaining digestion will occur so further digestion takes place in large intestine and convert the food materials into fibers remaining undigested carbohydrates proteins and which is entered from the large intestine into anus through the anus it passes out to, from the body the process of passage of undigested food materials from the body is called defecation so the process of passage of undigested food from the large intestine it enters to the an, uh, anus is called defecation it is and it contains only the undigested food remaining fibers etc so this is the alimentary canal which is present in human digestive system in human beings so in nutrition in human beings the food which enters from the mouth and defecated from the anus it involves various steps and various functions various enzyme and juices and enzymes these juices and enzymes will help in the conversion of digested from mean undigested food from the mouth to anus get digested completely so here we, we it involves many functions like what is mastication and what is defecation what is emulsification this are all involved in this element i mean digestive system it is very important for one mark questions the digestive system contain different steps and different functions in this we have learned today what is the, um, emulsification what is defecation and what is mastication we have all studied in detail so in this process how the peristaltic movement is going on in the from the starting to ending how the stomach get uh, enter into the small intestine how it is entered into the large intestine it is convert uh, it is explained in detail so if you like the video like cheyandi share cheyandi mari ni videos kosam extra telugu channel ni subscribe cheskondi notification kosam bell icon click cheyandi comments unte comment box lo comment cheyandi thank you